uh, I have to find the number of different eight letter arrangements that can be made from the letters of the word daughter, so that the first part is all vowels occur together. So for this, what I can do? I will first separate the vowels and the consonants. The vowels are a, u, e, and the consonants are d, uh, g, h, t, r. Right? So total I got eight letters. So now what is the condition? All vowels should should all vowels occur together. So if I try to find all the per, per arrangements, then they won't. It is not necessary that these three will occur together. So what will I do? Uh, I'll put these three in one box. Okay. So and consider this as one letter. Then I am left with six letters. Correct. With if I arrange these six letters, then I will get six factorial arrangements. And in all those arrangements, a, u, and e are occurring together. Correct. But this is not the total number of possibilities because I can shuffle a, u, and e within themselves. It is they have to occur together, but they don't have to occur in the same sequence as a, u, and e. So if I try to arrange these three letters, I'll get three factorial. I have to multiply both of them because in each and every of the six six factorial arrangements, I can have three factorial variations. So this is the total number of different eight letter arrangements that I can get. Okay, so this is equal to seven hundred and twenty into six because six factorial is seven hundred and twenty. And three factorial is six. So what will I get? This will be zero, two, four thousand three hundred and twenty. These are the total number of different eight-letter arrangements I can make that satisfies this condition. Now, what is the second one? The second one is all vowels do not occur together. That means they should not occur together. So it is the entirely opposite case of this. So what will I do? I know I can find what are the total number of eight letter arrangements. That is eight factorial. So before writing that, I'll just tell uh, the uh, case arrangements which come under this case is equal to. Total arrangements uh, without any condition, without any restriction, minus the number of arrangements with this restriction, right? Because I want the complement of this. That is, this is exactly opposite of this. So if I eliminate these arrangements from the total possible arrangements, I'll get this minus four three two zero, right? So, what is the total number of arrangements? There are eight letters, and uh, so it will be eight factorial. Eight factorial minus four three two zero. What will that be? Uh, eight factorial is fifty six into six factorial, and four three two zero I can also write as uh, three factorial into six factorial, which is six into six factorial. Therefore, this is equal to fifty into Six factorial, which is equal to fifty into seven hundred and twenty, which will be uh, thirty-six thousand combinations. Sorry, thirty-six thousand arrangements. Therefore, if all vowels do not occur together, then I can have thirty-six thousand uh, possibilities. And if all the vowels have to occur together, then I'll have four thousand three hundred and twenty arrangements.